in with the toes nice and wide, full circle with the arms, plie and rise. Exhale to lower, inhale to lift. Full body strengthening, we're gonna be working in HIIT training. So 45 seconds on, 10 seconds short recovery. So in that recovery, just catch your breath, move a little bit, and just make sure that you're challenging yourself. So I've got 3.5 kilos. Again, you guys don't have to use that weight. You can use lighter. You can use even slightly heavier. I wouldn't recommend much heavier because we're gonna be going for lots of reps. Okay, four more of these. And three. And two. Awesome, hold the plie, circle forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, backward circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, forward circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, backwards. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Beautiful side lunge to the right, right toe to your right wall, left toe to knee. Exhale as you reach your chest over your thigh. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Inhale, we've got to warm up the whole body because today we're going to be working the entire body. Okay, no muscles left behind. So really cluing in to what's happening in your workout by being mindful. So right here, we're warming the thighs, we're warming the arms, we're warming the back. We're switching the core on. Two more of these. Last one. Come on down for eight pulses. Eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two, yes, we felt that thigh burn, other side, so left toe to your left wall, right toe to knee, side lunge, and rise, so coming into your workout, being mindful in your workout is so important because it's going to help us to not only maximize our results and our time here, but also to help connect to the clearness of the mind and connect to the feels of the body and we bring this joyful skill out into life, mindfulness. So especially practicing mindfulness in your workouts. Reach arms overhead, drop down for eight, seven. Just feel the burn in that front thigh, what's happening in your body. Six, seven, yow. Bring your legs just a little bit closer, so sumo squat position, 45. Reach the arms forward and overhead, rise up. Exhale, inhale. So make sure those hips go way back, and the knee is right over the ankle. Spine stays straight. <sighs> Rise. Hopefully you're starting to feel your body getting warm. Thigh is getting warm. Core switching on. Let's go for a pull down at the top. So starting to warm now your upper back muscles. Exhale as you come up. <sighs> Inhale lower. Exhale up. <sighs> Big reach overhead. And squeeze into those upper back muscles. We're gonna be working in a lot of compound exercises. So that means more than one muscle group and that's gonna help keep your heart rate elevated. So we're gonna get a little bit of a cardio blast today as well. Hopefully you're already feeling your heart rate lifted. Four more. And three. And two. All right, come up for a toe tap face me and just a little toe tap. Swing it out, let go of any junk. Any tension, any anxiety, let go of it now. Come into your workout. Come fully into your body. Let's take an enormous breath in. Exhale, let go of any junk. Set yourself here. Again, deep breath in. Let go of any junk. Feel the therapy of moving your body once again. There it goes. All right, shoulder roll back. Two, three, forward for four, three, Bring it back, four, three, now forward for four, three, once more, bring it back, three, two, drop and reach squats, last thing, and then we're done with our warm up. How are you feeling now? Ready to work hard, ready to engage our muscles, ready to challenge our bodies. Yes, feels good. Four more, three, and two, all right, let the workout begin. Grab dumbbells, use your legs, not your back. First one is with plie with bicep curl. So deep plie, bicep curl. So we have 45 seconds on, 10 seconds recovery. 
So make sure when you plie, you push your hips down and back. Keep your rib cage closed, collarbones open, and with bicep curl, the rule is don't curl all the way up. It's about a two-third curl up and all the way down. Use your out breath as you lower. Keep the ribs closed to keep those postural muscles engaged. Looking straight ahead. So if I start doing too many lunges and squats for people with bad knees, please just omit or lessen the range of motion. Great job. All right, closed grip, a closed leg squat with a closed grip shoulder press. Okay, that's the next exercise. Shake it out, walk it out, let's go. Closed squat, shoulder press. Closed leg squat, shoulder press. That just means the legs are hip distance. Now engage your lower glute. So the base of the glute, when you drop your hips down and back. Shift your weight into the heels and you're gonna feel hammies and glute a little bit more. How's your heart rate? I know it's getting hard for me to talk and work because my heart rate's elevated. Hopefully yours is. That's the glory of compound exercises. Working big muscles that need lots of blood flow. Three seconds. Ooh, awesome job. All right, you're gonna go for a sumo squat, pulsing down eight times, the arms go wide, and then lateral raise. Actually drop those arms in the middle, eight pulses, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rise up, lateral raise for four. Micro bend in the knees, three, and two. Awesome, let's pulse down, arms in the middle, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, rise up, lateral raise. Micro bend in the knees. And two, and pulse sumos. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, you're almost there, lateral raise for four, three, and two. Whoo, drop one dumbbell. You're gonna go single leg lunge. So right leg up, left leg back. Your left arm is gonna punch as you rise. So both toes straight ahead. It's a lunge, punch, lunge. It's the opposite arm that's punching. Lower your hips. Both toes straight ahead. Abs engage. Draw the elbow in, punch. Elbow in, punch. Legs are sit bone distance apart. Should be feeling a nice burn, base of the glute, quadricep of that right leg. 15 seconds. Great, change sides, left leg up. Right leg back, both toes straight ahead, left hand to hip. Make sure legs are sit bone distance. Lunge with punch. Down. Abs engaged. Shoulders stay right over your hips. So think about dropping your hips straight down and the shoulders stay right over the hips. Yes, breathe. Oxygenate those muscles. low. Squeeze the base of the glute. Well done. All right. Hold dumbbell in both hands. Right leg up, left leg back. Arabesque kick with both arm punch. So it's a kick, tap. Let's go. Reach and Reach and now try this. Don't let your tip foot touch the floor. Tilt the chest forward slightly. Get your abs engaged. So arabesque with double arm punch. Try not to let your body twist or rotate. Switch your core on. So great for balance. Core, glute, arms, it's all happening.
Great job. Walk it out, whether you need left leg up, right leg back. Bring the dumbbell at your chest, shift your weight forward, squeeze your right leg. Begin. Now, if you need to, just touch that toe to the floor or keep that foot off the floor, shift your weight forward and squeeze your right glute. Steady your eyes, it's gonna help with your balance. Feels good to get fit and strong at home, to take control and to take charge of our health and fitness. Feeling good, strong, positive thoughts, guys. <sighs> gotta breathe, gotta oxygenate those muscles so they can work for you. <sighs> Abs switched on. <sighs> awesome, I'm gonna turn that up just a little. Next one is goblet squat. So just with one dumbbell, legs nice and wide, plie, drop low, Reach high, jump in. Whew. All right, so remember the rule. If it's starting to bother your knees, lessen the range of motion. Now, you are swinging a little bit, but try not to use momentum here. Use control. Make sure you're breathing. This one requires lots of oxygen. Can you get a little lower in your legs? Come on, make it happen today. Make sure the back does not arch, guys. That's important. Spine straight, draw up hips, big reach with the arms, feeling great today. One dumbbell in both hands, like so. So it's a drop squat, reach rotation, only going to the right side. Shake it, shake it. Whew, here we go. Drop, rotate, reach. The exhale's on the reach. Pivot on the ball of the left foot. Squeeze your left gluteal. Right there's the squeeze. So here you're getting core, delts, glute. Mindful in your workout. Feel what's happening. A little power in the glute at the top. All right, before we go to the other side, it's just one dumbbell, you're gonna do sumo pulses, the whole 45. Get ready, you're gonna love me and hate me. 45, drop low, pulse it down. All right, spine is straight. It's just one dumbbell, so you can totally do this. Drop hips low, guys. Feel your quads, feel your thighs, feel your core. Come on, you can do this. If you do not have a thigh burn by now, I need you to come a little lower. Then we're all in the burn zone. We're all together and that feels good. Come on in pain together. Amazing experience. Yes, 15 seconds, go. Breathe it out. Come on, 10 seconds. Ow. Are you with me in a lot of pain? Yes, let's do it. Lovely. Three. Ow. Oh yes, good job. And that's why we arrived this morning. All right, shake it out. Let's go for those squat rotations. Here we go. Drop, rotate to the left. Squeeze your right glute this time. Right heel lifts, pivot on the ball of the foot. Drop low, reach high. Drop low, reach high. Now, heart rate is a really kick in. Cardio training, strength training, whole body work. We're getting it all in. So when you're crunched for time, this is a great workout. Because you're getting your core, you're getting your whole body strengthening, and you're getting your cardio. Grab both dumbbells. Remember to use your legs, not your back. Legs are much stronger. All right, soft bend in the knees, forward flexion, navel to spine. Eight lateral flies, here's eight. And seven, so notice the spine is nice and straight. Tilt your tailbone up, eye gaze straight in line with your spine. Five, squeeze the shoulder blades, six. 
and seven, and relax the arms for deadlifts. Rise and lower. So the legs are hip distance here. Use your hamstrings to lift your body. Last one, come on down, lateral raise for eight and seven and six. Squeeze the rear delts, five, tailbone lifted, four, you're doing great, three and two. Awesome, deadlifts, rise up. Beautiful. All right, let's bring that right leg up, left leg back, lunge position. It's one drop lunge, then one arabesque. Here we go. Drop, lift, drop, arabesque, drop, lift, drop, arabesque. Now you can ditch the dumbbells, you can ditch the arabesque, do what is challenging and doable for you. Your workout, take ownership. And down. How's the heart rate on this one? Big muscles, big heart rate blaster. Get that burn. Yes, glad that's over. All right, left leg up, right leg back. Both toes are straight ahead. Make sure the legs are sit bone distance. Lunge, lift, lunge, arabesque. Lunge, lift, arabesque. Steady your eyes. It's gonna help with balance here. And make sure you step long back to protect your knee. So the knee needs to stay right over the ankle. Down, lift, down, up, and lift. Step long back. Oh, I'm out of breath, I hope you are. Down, lift, down, arabesque. Push through that front heel. Ow. All right guys, micro bend in those knees. We're going for eight lateral lifts, eight calf raises. Let's start with the feet hip distance here. Shake it, we go here. Eight and seven and six, belly lifted, five, shoulders relaxed, four, and three, and two. All right, shoulders get a little break, half raise. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, whew. Go again, lateral, lateral lifts. Two, work in those delts. Three, 15 seconds. Four, abs engage. Five, keep those knees softly bent. Six, and seven, ah, half raise, go. Eight, seven, six, five, finish up. Four, three, two, all right. Jogging squat or single leg squat, we can call it. Right heel lifts, hammer curl, and then the left heel lifts, hammer curl. Let's do it. This is a great one. Great for your glute. Great for your biceps, great for your core. Come on, hard workout. We love hard workouts. Challenges our body, makes us feel great, fearless, and confident. Nice and low. 20 seconds, can you burn out those legs? All right, both dumbbells or one, overhead tricep extension with sumo squat. Okay, shake it out. Here we go, drop, extend. Really easy for the back to arch here. Be conscious of your back. Straight line in the spine. Squeeze triceps at the top. Out breath on the exertion right there. Please don't hold your breath. It's really hard on your body, hard on your heart, hard on your arteries, okay? So make sure you're breathing. 20 seconds, come on. Working the whole body, back of the arms here. All 
All right, drop one dumbbell, left leg up, right leg back. Lunge position, back leg nice and straight. Tilt chest over thigh, right elbow lift, extend, bend. So tricep kick back, we're doubling up triceps so we can burn out that muscle. Now goal here is to keep your elbow lifted as if you have a rod between your arm and your back. I want you to feel each repetition. Not one goes by that you don't feel, right? There's a squeeze. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting my sweat on now. Hopefully you're breaking a sweat, working these big muscles that require lots of calories. How's your front thigh? Should be burning. Well done. All right, change sides, right leg up, left leg back. Both toes are straight ahead, back heels lifted, and then tilt your chest way over your thigh, left elbow up, here we go. So feel like I'm holding your elbow up. You gotta keep it up there and squeeze tricep. At each contraction, feel that squeeze, that pinch in that tricep head. Get low in your right leg. Left leg is nice and straight. Steady your eyes helps with your balance. Big squeeze at the top. Come on guys, get lower in that front leg. You can do it. Come right down, push the dumbbell to the side. We're gonna go for eight push-ups and then eight knee taps. So on your knees, Push your hips forward, hands wide. You can also be off your knees here. Just got eight of them. Two, hands wide of chest. Three, 90 degrees with your elbows. Four, get lower. Five, dip the chest to the floor. Six, and seven, and eight. High plank, get your hands under your shoulders. Knee tappers, lift the hips, drop. Lift the hips, drop, tap your knee. Exhale here, inhale, two more, last one, drop to the knees, hands wide of chest, let's go, finish up here guys, let's do eight more, seven, good, and six, and five, we're going to miss our break, but that's okay, four more, stay with me, three, keep going, two more, Last one. All right, here's the shoulder burn. Knuckles together, elbows under the shoulders, knees off the mat, eight knee taps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. It's a hold plank, eight seconds. Whew, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your glute. And knee taps, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold plank. This is great for whole body. Five, six, seven, knee taps, eight, Seven, six, five, four. Now hold a plank. Eight. Squeeze everything that you can. Five, six, seven. All right, we needed that break. Come on up. One dumbbell again. Use your legs, not your back. Hold that one dumbbell. Elbows are lifted. You're going to extend your arms sumo, then rise. So skull crushers, but don't. Smack yourself in the forehead, okay? So the dumbbell goes towards the forehead. The hard part is keeping your arms elevated. You should be your core, your thighs, your biceps. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Feels good to work hard. Stay engaged, stay strong. 10 seconds, come on. All right, your choice, break or drop with a pump. Drop with a pump. Your choice, guys. Break or you're here with me. My goodness gracious. Whew. All right, back to those goblet squats. Hold one dumbbell, drop and reach. Whew. This time, can you add a heel raise at the top? Heel raise, drop low. 
So the legs are not as wide as the plie, just sumo slightly wider than hips. Come on. Oh, don't lose your balance like me. Okay, five seconds. Come on. Nice and low. All right, have a break. Walk it up, whatever you need. You're going to keep that one dumbbell. Side lunge with reach. Right toe to right wall, left toe to me. Dumbbell in both hands. Here we go. Reach, punch, and rise. So, like the warm up, now we have a dumbbell. Makes it harder. Good job, whole body workout. No muscles left behind. Get low in that right leg. Keep your abs lifted towards the spine. Big reach over the chest. 10 seconds, push through that back heel. Push through the front heel, nice and low. All right, the arms need a break, but the legs aren't gonna get one. You're gonna go for pulse sumo, okay? So those shoulders get a break, legs do not get a break. Woo, let's go, pulse it down. Now, drop low as you can. Squeeze base of the glute, push through the heels, chest lifted and proud, feeling proud, feeling strong as we take control of our fitness, take control of our health, take control of our life, right here and now, come on. This is where I need you to push. Say no to fatigue. Say yes to strength and wellness. Yow. That feels great. 15 seconds, come on. Are you with me? Dying a little bit, but happy? Yes, so good. Come on, gang. Let's go. Five seconds. All right, I hated myself a little bit on that one. Those sumo squats are terrible, but great. Let's go, left toe to left wall, side lunge, let's do it. All right, so arms had a good recovery. Push to the outer edge of the right foot so it doesn't slip out. I'm on that slippery carpet, so I'm sliding out a little bit. Make sure that back foot doesn't slide out. The front knee is right over the ankle, that's really important. Get low. Come on, lower than you want to. Your 30 second break is right around the corner. Stay with me. All right, enough of those. Grab both dumbbells, use your legs. Getting good habits here. All right. You're gonna go sumo squat position, hands in the middle. Drop low, hammer curl, shoulder press, drop, release, hammer curl, shoulder press, drop, release, hammer curl, press, drop. So the spine stays really straight the whole time, never changes shape. Breathe, oxygenate your strong, amazing muscles, and release. You're right in the meat of the workout, I need you to push here. Strong, positive thoughts. Yes. Transforming your body with your strong, positive thoughts. Yes, feels good. Yo, five seconds. Legs are screaming. All right, how are we doing? All right, we're 30 minutes in. We're gonna go for a couple more and then we'll take a 30 break, okay? Oh, lateral raises, here we go, eight of these and seven, and six, and five, and four, three. Now legs hip distance, um, single leg squat. Single leg squat, or we call this jogging squat, either one, five, six, seven, lateral raise. You can keep your feet there or together. And two, three, how's your arms? Yes, working hard, five, and six, and seven, 
Whew, jogging squat. Eight, seven, six, five. Just finish up. Four, three, two. All right, now, no arms. Relax the arms. Sink leg squat. Legs hip distance, right heels lifted. Shift all the weight, left leg. It's a drop halfway lift. Drop halfway lift. So all the weight comes into the left heel. Right away, you should be feeling the left glute and hamstring. Whew. All right, guys, the last 20, we're gonna pulse until painful bliss arrives into our body. You ready? Yes, smile, here we go. Drop, go. Let's go, come with me. Painful bliss, it's all yours. You gotta grab it. I'm already there. Whew. 10 seconds lower. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll take a break after the other leg, but you have to work hard. You gotta earn the break. Oh my gosh. A little bit lightheaded on that one. Get some oxygen. Here we go. Left heel up. Drop halfway. Drop halfway. Don't come all the way up. You're staying in contraction zone. You're already feeling base of the right glute. Abs are on. All right. I need you to earn your break. You gotta work really hard for the last 20. Get an absolute burnout. That's why you arrived. Okay, here it is. Let's go painful bliss. All yours. Feels good to work hard. Feels good to challenge our current fitness level, our current strength level, and to gain new fitness levels in our life. Okay, you're getting a new fitness level right now. Five seconds. 30 second break, take it. Okay, next exercise, you're down on the mat, you're high plank position. You're gonna go for eight crossover mountain climbers and then eight chaturangas. We go eight, seven, six, five, crossover to opposite wrist. Now on the knees, eight chaturanga push-ups. So the elbows skim the ribs. Right alongside the rib cage, so you're working those triceps. Five, and six, and seven, last one. High plank, crossover mountain climbers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Awesome, on the knees, do what you can for eight seconds. Good job. I forgot to tell you guys, you can take your shoes off if you like. I always like to when I'm on the floor. All right. Sorry. Now, you're gonna go knuckles together, elbows under the shoulders, off the knees, knee crosses over opposite elbow. <sighs> Cross over opposite elbow. <sighs> and four, three, two. Now hold plank, roll forward on the toes and back. Roll forward, back. Two more. <sighs> Cross over knees. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold plank, roll forward. Planks are done after this, stay with me. Now just hold plank for five seconds, you can do it. Good job, one dumbbell, front hand, both hands are under the shoulders. The back leg extends, point the toe. It's a row with arabesque, opposite arm to leg. Don't touch the mat. <sighs> Guys, if you really like dumbbells, double up your dumbbells. This is a big, strong muscle, can take heavy weight. So it's a row with arabesque kick. Make sure it's opposite arm to leg. I actually think it'd be absolutely incredible if you could do same arm as leg. That'd be like a magic trick but just thought I needed to remind you. All right, 20 seconds, keep your belly lifted. 
What are you feeling here? Be mindful in your workout. Squeeze that glute, squeeze the upper back as engaged. How? Feeling lots of burning muscles. My goodness. Have a quick child's pose stretch. Set up, back hand dumbbell, front leg extends, point toe, abs engage, let's go. Row, don't touch the mat. So we don't touch the mat, so we stay in contraction zone. Point the toe, squeeze the glute, elbow leads the way. Nice job, you're doing great. Stay engaged in your body, engaged in your workout. You are very close to being done with the workout. This is where I need you to work hard, strengthening, feeling fearless, no pain, just feeling strong. You're there in 10 seconds. Come on, squeeze your upper back. All right, both dumbbells, I'm going to face you on the diagonal. Knees are under the hip. It's a waiter's bow with a lateral extension, and I'll add on from there. Okay, we're gonna go eight of these. Eight, waiter's bow, seven, so your hips go halfway back. Six, abs engaged, five, and four, three, spine straight, two, whoo, come on back, half camel, bicep curl, so lean back at the knee joint, rise. If it's too much with the movement in the arms, just keep your arms by your hips. Let's just do four of these, because these are tough. One more. Waiter's bow, lateral fly. Eight, seven, and six. Oh my goodness, there's that bird. Four, three, and two. All right, we're gonna do a hold um, half camel. These suck a little bit, so get ready. Knees are slightly wider than hips. You can ditch the dumbbells if you want. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glute. Back for an eight second hold. Just hold those arms by your hip. Make sure there's no arching in your back. Thighs should be absolutely on fire. Five, six, seven, rise up. Whoo, that's a burn. Here we go, come on back. I'm strong, I am amazing. I am powerful in my strong body. Five, six, seven, yes, empowered today. Come on back, hold. Getting younger each and every repetition, shaving age off our life. Ooh, that feels good. Come on back. How about it? This is your last one. 10 second hold. You can do it. Come on, phenomenal people. Hold it. Five, four, three. Oh my God, I couldn't wait for that beat. Hurry on to your bum. Face your left wall. Hold one dumbbell at your chest. We go for Russian twist. Hollow tummy, help pelvis rotate to me. Eight of these, seven, and six, hollow the tummy. Five, four, three, and two. Now hold your elbows up, boat crunch, eight little rocks. Hollow the tummy, big abdominal scoop, and five, and six, and seven. Dumbbell to chest, Russian twist. Eight. Now, the further back you are, the more challenging it is, but make sure you don't feel it in your back. And five, and six, and seven. Whoo, boat crunches. Back. This is it, five seconds. All right, you're on the home stretch. Come on to your back, grab both dumbbells. You have like four minutes left. Sorry, that was not very smooth. Lift your hips, hip bridge. Now lift your hips and punch the sky, hip bridge. Draw your elbows down, don't touch the mat. Exhale up, <sighs> inhale lower. So it's a closed grip, chest pressed. That just means your elbows are close to your ribs. It's closed grip. <sighs> Make sure you get that big hip lift at the top and then try not to look at me once you get the exercise because your neck is in compression. Take care of that precious neck. Lift your hips way up to the sky. Knees in line with the hips. Oh my goodness, lots of muscles working. And that heart rate is still going. Getting a big slash of calories today. All right guys, you're not done. We're gonna do a basic chest press. So bring your hands wide of chest. Legs are wide as your mat or so. 
Flex your feet, lift your hips way up, and then we go chest press, hip raise. Flex your feet, guys, so just heels are on the mat, and your legs are at about a two-third bend, about wide as your mat. So same thing, hips lift and lower, but working little different muscle groups now. So you're doing a normal chest press, and you're doing a wide leg hip bridge with flexed feet. Working more into the base of the glute, working pecs and delts, also working into your upper back muscles. Should be feeling it by now, for sure. If not, make it bigger. Lift those hips to the tippy top. Well done. Ditch one dumbbell carefully, don't hurt your shoulder. And then bring your legs in tabletop, imprint your spine, dumbbell over chest, deep press the shoulders, front leg extends, arm overhead, bring it in. Now the back leg, single leg extensions with one or two dumbbells. If you've got light dumbbells, feel free to grab both. Maintain your imprint. Keep lower back in contact with the mat or very close. If it bothers your back, lessen the range of motion with that leg. Good. Guys, a couple more exercises, then the workout's done. Stay strong, come on. Don't think about being done. Think about the now. Think about working hard. Pressing that lower back into the mat, feeling your lower abs, your thighs, your arms. Whew. All right, now we're gonna go toes to the sky. Bring the dumbbell behind your skull, not your neck, behind your skull. Imprint your spine. Now as you exhale, you're gonna curl up, front leg lowers halfway, inhale lower, and the back leg. So it's a tiny curl up with weight, with resistance. If it's too much, ditch that dumbbell. Make sure you're breathing. Micro bend in the knee is your option. Harder option, get that leg lower. And lift. Exhale. And lift. You're doing amazing. Stay with me. Polish it off now. Come on, you're gonna have a great day. Make it good right now. You're there in 10 seconds, stay strong. Ditch the dumbbell, glorious last exercise. Tabletop your legs. Ooh, curl up as high as you can. Eight pulse crunches, eight cross crawls, we go. Eight. And four, three, now stay up high as you can. Hold, cross crawl for eight, seven. Here's your easier option. And four, three, two, pulse crunch. Last exercise, how much burn can you take? Go higher. And three, two, cross crawls. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulse crunch. Let's do it, eight, seven, Six, five, four, oh my gosh. Cross, cross, ah, eight, seven, six, five. All right, that is the best beep we've heard all day. Bring your right leg straight up, flex your foot, hand position behind the calf, the ankle, anywhere, just not behind the knee. Let's breathe, inhale, feel amazing, exhale. Feels so good to work our whole body, to feel engaged and strong in our bodies. Feel that, feel all those wonderful endorphins pumping through your bloodstream that actually get rid of those stress hormones that cause aging, that cause disease in the body. So you have counteracted that, counterbalances. Any disease forming cells are now transformed into happy, healthy cells. Why? Because you chose to be here. Well done. Bring it in, deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> Figure four, ankle to opposite thigh, thread the needle, hand through the thigh. If you're more flexible, hold on to the shin, pull your legs in towards you, breathing in, breathing out. <sighs> Flex the foot closest to you, push the knee out slightly, feel that release in the hip. Inhale and exhale. Super job, change legs, hammy stretch. Ah, very normal to have one side of the body a little tighter than the other, but not healthy, right? So 
pay attention to what's happening in your own body, what your body is trying to tell you, communing with your own body. Breathing in, breathing out, pull it in. All right, guys, what do you need to let go of today to have an amazing day and to feel the happiness and the joy that's in each and every present moment? Because guess what? Here's your mantra of today. When you accept what is, every moment is happy and blissful. Okay, so what resistance do you need to let go of today so you can just be happy in the moment, right? Just enjoying what is. Take a deep breath in, let it go now. There it goes. All right, flex the foot ankle to the thigh. You guys didn't know you were getting a therapy this morning as well, or today, I should say. So flex the foot closest to you, pull your legs in as a unit, breathing in, breathing out, feeling good in this present moment. Once again, deep breath in, deep breath out. Roll over to one of your side, one hand to the floor, help yourself up. Seated star to finish, bring your heels together, knees apart, hands by your bum, push hips to heels, squeeze shoulder blades into back pocket, sit nice and tall. All right, so when you accept what is, every moment is peaceful, blissful, and happy. So let's take that message today. Deep breath in, lengthen the spine. Deep breath out, push the knees down, rock it out, anything you don't need. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. So glad we chose to arrive here this morning. An enormous breath in, send some love in and out. Zing. And I hope you enjoyed this 45 minute full body at home hit workout. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up, share with friends and family, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so I can keep uploading free content for you. Have an amazing day and enjoy the energy that you have created in your body.